need the spike, put him up, grab the back, the stop it from twisting, then just spin it until you feel the top in the place. Yep. Numbers. You won't get one on this because yeah, it's okay. real. So you were looking for the number okay. 8 for example, what where you've number? got a distinct line to line up with your frame. Yep, you're running through like that. Then hooking on. The easiest way is to get him so he's on those and then adjusting frame by frame, lock him in and then close that up. So you've lined up the number eight or whichever frame you're using yep. with the aperture in that little sliding brass plate yep. so that the frames are aligned with the light and the hole effectively. And you've yeah. fed that through to use that little arm that's hanging down as a gauge for how much slack there is and then lock her on. So that's left a bit of slack in there. And there's a wheel at the back. And use the little wheel at the back to uh, adjust into the right. So it's just going to start feeding the frame. Just went then, so take. Oh, that's okay. It's yep. a little bit doesn't make any huge difference. Feed him around there. Over that, that one. one. Around the drive wheel, the wheel is picking up there. the sound. Pull a little bit of tension on. That's around about right, but when you've got your diamond, you line him up. So lining up, there's a little clear diamond. It's got to be on the centre line of the sound pickup. And you want it to not knock into the top like it is there. All right, yep. Because it just wears and causes so damage. So and that's nice. There. Little bit of movement. Lock so that one in. Absorber, checking it's on the sprocket. Lock that, that one in. You can feel with your finger that the sprocket's through the that the one. film. Then you are running back. Okay. Feed back to the start of the film. That. Feed it onto the spool at the on. bottom. Right Take it on. Around. Wind it over by hand. Yeah. Drop your red belt on. Red belt on. And, and you're, you're basically go. right to go. So you've got to remember to put your um, clearance there, lens thingy back. Checking yep. that your frame's in line. Your sound line, the diamonds in line, and, then and all the as well. Thing is just check, to double checking it. all the sprockets that they're coming through the the sprocket holes in the film, and she's ready to roll. From there, you would then the light would be running. You've already got the light transformer running. warmed up. The lights running. You would Go. drop. Turn that's the, first, turn, turn the, always the engine on first. So that starts the film Start running. First, Once the film's down. running, you can let the light through without burning a hole in the film. And she's off and running. And then to finish it, close it off up. so the light's blocked off from and the film. Then, turn the film down. off, stop the film running through. Got to make sure the lens caps off the lens when you start the night. And if the film running through and it's run right the way through, you have to remember to put this back up because if you don't shut that off, you can heat this up so bad it'll walk yeah, yeah. it. Walk those little bits of wire that are through there to guide the thing. Um, 
around the far side, around here, that you've got to make sure that's across in front of a film. Yep. For cinema scope, wide screen, you take that out. So, do we have widescreen often? No. No. Uh, widescreen, anything, anything made by the big Hollywood, it's always going to be cinema scope. Anything arty or um, French foreign films or anything like that, it's usually widescreen. Yeah. But they usually <coughs> stay on the actual film, the real little stuff, what type it is, not always. Now, sound wise, if we found that it wasn't loud enough sound out there, wise, Main volume. Main volume. That's your CD volume. So I'll so turn that off. But when you want your CD, when you're playing a CD at the start, you can turn that up and turn your CD down and start to film. You turn it off in the row. So turn it on by turning that one on at the back there. That one on, I've got that off now. That one then that one, that one, that one. And then those two are the sound converters for the um, projector. That's your master volume that gives the monitor volume that gives us sound in here. Yep. And they're all your levels of your thing. That's your mark, your monitor, which is your all right. there. Switches over on the wall, circuit breakers. Uh, now with these, uh, that's your screen lights. Your lights to come in. There. So lights to come in as in the on doors here. and the lights in here. Yep, the in lights the room. Yep. in here and downstairs. Right, right yep. Um, make sure always that is on because that's your air. Bent for, bent for All right. Yep. To cool them down. Um, Extractor fan. I turn all of this on. Yep. Even though it's some of it's sort of carbon. For the old girl. Cool. I still turn it all on just in case they've wired something up. Yeah. Open one of those. In through different power things. So pretty straightforward. Yep. So when you come in, the main switch is still on, or it's you turn. On. So leave Always it on. You just simply turn all of these off. off when you're going. When you're going, um, leave that one on. These yep. will, but the air conditioners will turn, turn off when you turn all this off. So, so once all of these are off, these are off then you can turn that one so off. That'll, oh, just that'll automatically come comes with them. Right, yep. You've got to always check to make sure so that it's that on. on. Yeah. Because if you don't, then it's going to overheat and loads. yeah. So this one? That one, the floodlights at the front, um, if they trip out, press your start button, okay. and it'll re-engage it, but they do generally Take a don't. step that way, so we can get to meet there. So that one's got to be on first all the time. That one's lights outside. Yep. Um, that one simply just, you press that one, if these two aren't working. All right. If your floodlights at the front aren't working, that's probably tripped as a um, yep. circuit breaker, then you can just push that Start one that in or restart it. So, that's that. What else do we need to know? Here we are in the, the engine room. So, when you're firing up your lights... Uh, okay. This will be off like right that. Yeah. Turn him on, we'll come up, and give, turn him on when you first come here and give him about 5, 10, 15 minutes by the time you've threaded the film on and everything. Yep. Then you can start him so you, and he'll kick over a lot easier. So you push the button and it fires up, so it's built up, built up power and you hit the button, it sends the high frequency arcs across, then the current flows across and you're up and running. Yep. And normally that knob there is on that line. We've got a little bit higher because we're playing around with different lamps. So it would normally look like